What's up, you two? This is for Trey Common. Us today have a great in the market. I mean, we once again we opened the week and we are really huge green man. Again, congratulations once again. I'm trying to get back to all of you guys on your DMs because again, every single time that we got a huge bang and you guys flow my message and I love it. I mean, I literally love you know helping you guys, you know, answer all your questions that I do what I do, right? But let me just really quick tap it on MK. GN, we talk about this. I made a video about this. Don't tell me that I didn't let you know. Of course, if you are in the Alpha community, you had this super, super early than anybody else. I did talk about this on YouTube, but always my students, they're going to have, you know, priority. They had this entry super early than anybody else. We bank. So again, if you don't want to be late to this trade, you don't want to be late to this banger, you know what to do. I mean, join the Alpha community. The link is in the description if you want to be part of the team. But as you can see here, like I said, officially on the Alpha community, it's all on the NKN. I was going to be official a swing that we do have a catalyst coming on March 25th, 26th, right? So we're still waiting on that. But I clearly point out that we had good amount of, you know, reservoir as far as to the upside, right? So we we pretty much hold it for last week. And what do you think today? We had like a huge, huge pop. And congratulations. I was able to lock, you know, over $3,000 on, you know, just NK gain, as you can see here. And of course, always, you know, getting things. You know, you can see here, you know, we pretty much were looking and can you like fly away? We were like, what's going on? What's that? Is that a plane? You know, we really make good money on MK. But you can see, I wanted something. You guys understand that the stocks will pop and they will come back down. That don't marry stock, take your profits or at least learn to scale out and learn to protect your capital, right? You see, we make a nice 3.10 high of day today. We ended up the day at 2.66. So if you did not take profits at $3, now you're back to 266, although we are still green from our initial position, you still lose the opportunity to maximize your profits, right? So I want you to understand that never let your green turn red and of course always scale up, right? Now, the bigger overlook of this is there's still, you know, the chart looking good. You know, we have good room. We may higher highs today, which is a bullish signal. But does that mean that we could have a red day? That's not, remember, nothing will go forever. Might happen a pullback. Or anything can happen, but overall the setup is still looking pretty good, right? So we will see, you know, as far as the trend remains intact, we should be on top of it. I'm still writing my, you know, like in my core position, but the cap and handle that I pulled out last time ended up breaking out today. So we're on the we're, we're on the good track, right? Now, well, as the market today, and I'll tell you guys the market will present good opportunities as far as you know, large cap. We did have you know a couple moves that I'm gonna go over. So We'll see what do we have, but let me really quick show over, go over the calendar and show you guys what do we have tomorrow. So as far as economic events, tomorrow, Tuesday, we're starting. We have a consumer price index and of course, we have CPI. CPI, it is going to be a crazy day. I mean, tomorrow, let me tell you for option traders, you better be on the lookout off to watch your position. Don't want to be caught up on the wrong side of the trade, most likely because it's coming on pre-market. We might have like the overreaction, which is going to be, you know, either a big, pump or a big drop and later on the open you know entry that we might have you know the development on this uh price section of this result this data right the market needs to digest the numbers and then the, you know pick a direction so let me tell you for at least for tomorrow be careful because things might be a little choppy things might you know might be a little crazy with the volatility so don't overlap yourself this is these are the days that if you are trading options and you do learn how to trade stocks you can wait the volatility happen and then of course you know make your money in stocks and then come back on options once the market pick a direction, right? So keep in mind, diversification is very important, but you need to learn how to do it the right way. So going back to this, like I said, every single day, like you guys know, I was for my levels for SPY. Tesla, Nvidia, of course, oh, this is only for my students. SPY, you know, general guidance I put it out there. Although today, as you can see, if you follow the levels, we did not break the 508.76 that I mentioned. There's still, if you learn how to execute, you know, my strategy, you know, how the EMS work, the bottom bars, the BY, we talk about it several times. Like I'm a training, if you were following that, right? And even again, even here in the community, I told my students at 9.47, and you can see here, I literally told, look, SPY, it was too early to say because we did not have any direction, but it kept rejecting the same level. And I told them that rejection should happen, you know, should be coming soon. And this was 9.47. So if you are here, you already know this heads up that what might happen. So of course, if the trend breaks, which it did, you can see how the opportunity to play puts on SPY was clearly front of you you only need to execute it as you can see here you guys know once the candle closed below your emails you'll be well that's your confirmation your starting position you write a training as long as the email remains syntax so you could you could have made good money on spy from five tens all the way to five weights just by following my teachings so keep in mind the opportunities are there but you gotta learn how to execute it right 
But other, other than that, SPY did not did much today. So if you look the uh, the trend, it still remains syntax. We pretty much bounce from the 60 May today. We talk about this on the weekly watch list that if in order for you know, again, the market change direction needs to break the 60 May and that 508, it was going to be a strong area of resale support, which we pretty much we bounce today, right? So that kind of confirmed our, so, you know, our idea that that low was going to be critical. Now, we are going a little bullish towards tomorrow, right? Because we haven't really reclaimed the trend, as you can see here. We do, we did have buyers stepping in, which is good. So we will see how CPI is going to really either confirm the trend and boost it up, or, you know, we actually, we're going to have like a bigger pullback, right? So again, keep in mind, guys, tomorrow is going to be very volatile, right? Of course, it's going to be assessed tomorrow. So levels are going to be up tomorrow. Now, Tesla, very, very nice today. Again, once again, if you are here in the community, I have my level set up for Tesla. And I told them that it was hanging around support, but that we had a small accumulation. And, uh, you know, what we'll do today, we had 177.32 break for calls. And if you were looking at the levels, if you follow it, you only had to execute. Once again, Tesla gave you the nice breakout. Once you broke down, it closed above well and your EMAs, you only had to execute, right? Tesla gives you a very, very nice move from 177 breakout that I have you guys all the way in to, we found them restaking to 182.87. So we're talking about between, you know, five, four dollars, depending on your entry. But still, if you executed levels, you make good money, right? That's pretty much it. Remember, the traders, we're not only investing in these things for now, some of us are, but mostly we are traders. So we trade the moves, right? We did not matter the style. We did not matter the direction. We have to learn to adapt to what's happening in the market, right? So that was a move, profitable move. That's the only thing you need. Remember, you don't have to trade the whole day. You need to trade your setup. You need to trade your levels. You make your money, you move on, you will your life. Remember, you don't want to be become a slave of the market. You want to be free. You know, that is a freedom that we're, you know, we're following. Some of us are already free, but I'm, I'm here just to teach you guys how to become free. And that's what we want to do. I want to teach you guys that you don't have to be in this, on the stock market all day. You don't have to be trading all stocks all day because that is only going to lead you to lose the money that you made over trade broke your you know break your discipline many other or many other mistakes now as far as what we can expect for tomorrow since we did have like a little say like a nice bounce today you can see we still haven't reclaimed the trend we haven't broke the 20 minute right now we're still below but there is some there is some good accumulation here so this is going to be key i mean tomorrow i do think that the cpi might dictate that you know what is going to either break out tesla or if it's actually going to reject right so, but overall, as far as you know, values, uh, we need to break the 179.25, which is the 20 MA. And of course, we do need to break resistance, the 181.07. One, if we, if we achieve that, we achieve those two things. Tesla like will have a pretty small reversal. You know, we can even run to the 186, 190s. It's, it's a very achievable target. That is if we do break those lows. Now, if we don't, if we do pull back, now keep it on. We have a couple supports. Uh, we have 177.321, and then we have 175.01. That one is going to be a critical one. The 175 area, it's critical. Tesla needs to hold that because if not, it's going to flush down to probably 150s, 160s. So I keep that in mind. Now, NVIDIA as well. Uh, it was pretty, pretty choppy this morning. I have my levels, of course. I do not personally trade NVIDIA, right? Because the price action wasn't the best. Uh, if you look how NVIDIA moved today, wasn't really much, right? I mean, we did have, you know, you could have scalped this, right? I'm not a scalper, so... Like I said, it's to me, I'm trying to look, you know, nice trends, nice uh, price section. In this case, we did not have it. As you can see the EMAs are mostly flat. Once they, when they start downtrending a little bit after the one o'clock, still, they, you know, the move wasn't really clear to me. I did not trade it. But again, if you were looking, if you were executing the trades, they were, you could have been able to catch those moves. For example, here, once it closed below the EMA from threes, got around eight, 862 to 852, it's a $10 drop. You could have caught that if you know how to execute the trace, right? I do have all the all the more training and educational content on the Alpha community as well. This is for you know for people that is new, for people that's you know intermediate or advanced, they can always enhance their trading career and become profitable, right? So we have a bunch of good educational content here, stocks foundation. We have a lot going on there. But as far as tomorrow, what we can expect is we have a couple setups. Uh once again. We did trade, we talked about this when I talked to you guys about, you know, A-E-Y-E, -E, this stock, you know, this uh, audio I I told you guys last time when we talked about this, how the report of this was insane, was great, was outperforming. And it was like a swing trace, might not play out the next day, might not play out the next couple of days, but if you're pitching enough, if you know the DD, if you know your fundamentals, you have to 
just be patient. We ended up getting paid today. You know, we literally entered this and everyone else, I'm going to see how, uh, again, if you are an alpha community, you're going to have these benefits. But AAE, as you can see here, I clearly told my students that I was buying AAE here at 7.95, right? This, this happened on the 6th, March 6th. I told them I was buying 7.96, their earnings, and seems to be ready to break out in the weekly chart. You know, we had the 7.95, you can see time stamp it. Today, we ended up moving to 9.25, and it happened, what, in the month, in, in, you know, in between time frame in a couple, in a week or so. So you can see how it pays off to be here. And not only that, because you're early and you only have to wait out. So we are here to teach people how to swing trade. And again, you know, for that, those people that had nine to five jobs, how to still become profitable if you and you don't have to be day trading all day, right? So that's that. And again, AAD still has good potential. You got to wait it out. I do believe that we might see you know, double digits with some time because we are already closing about a 200 million on the weekly chart, which is a bullish sign. Bullish sign. So just keep an eye on that one. And we got an up. We, we had a couple setups. Uh, one of them for tomorrow, for example, is, you know, MESO, M-E-S-O. We did talk about this one today. I do, I'm going to keep an eye on this one because it just got popped today. He ended up making a 3.18 highs of the day. And it's a previous reverse split, right? I do believe that these stocks, they do have to tend to good, good momentum. And especially because the type of news that this one had, right? The FDA, uh, the support and this accelerated approval for them, which is good for them. Uh, they do have, a, I would say, like a very thick float. They have like a hundred, one or medium float. But the trend is there. It should be a good growth stock, in my opinion. We should see once again $3, around, around $3 in a couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks. But it is good. The risk reward is pretty good, in my opinion. We also have a gap up to fill up. If you see all the win, you know, for goes from uh, 3.31 to 7.95. So, the, you know, the risk reward is pretty good there. We will see how the things perform. But again, like I said, it's all about you know, be patient enough. As you can see here, there is nice targets so around eight dollars. Short interest has been decreasing, which tells me that uh, shorts are knowing something is coming, right? So you have to keep in mind, I uh, guess. But again, if you have any question, guys, I hope you know. Just let me know. Send me a DM, me, tag me in the chat. Don't make comment in the video, guys. We're we're crushing it. First day of the week, we are huge screen. Stay like that. Again, join the Alpha community if you want to be part of the chain, part of this trades, live trading. We have all these things going on here. You know, link in the description. Don't forget to also like and subscribe to the channel, guys. We have more updates, more videos, more, again, more educational content, lives. Everything is coming this year. We are, I told you guys, we are changing the game on the Alpha community. We are going to be the pioneers of this huge community of, you know, 24-7 guidance. All right, guys, so take care. I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you guys in the chat. Bye. What's up, guys? This is Wild Patrick coming out yesterday. If you guys want to start making some money and achieving those goals that you're not afraid of, you guys are looking for, then you need to start investing in yourself. You need to start investing in knowledge. All right, so join me to the Alpha community. I'll be there with you guys, guiding yourself to the market. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow on the market because I'm going to get you guys get some money. All right, so see you guys.